I don't believe that he loves this ostrich. I think it's just like, you know, whatever mating gland they have is, you know, on the fritz or whatnot. Wait, 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 what, a sample? Uh, that's a really large needle. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy. How am I gonna tell his lover? Oh, this isn't gonna be easy. In a world of heroes and villains, they stand vigilant, watching over us for better or worse, good and evil, order and chaos. This is Superhero Origins. Hello, world. Hello, Haywood. Hello, Haywood's ostrich girlfriend, or I guess it would be ostrich friend in this case. Lady ostrich friend? I don't know. But hopefully you guys are going to be ready for the day that's ahead of you. See, you're excited. I'm going to call this excited, not just the fact that I put a, you know, a fence post down in front of you. It's totally excite- Not excited. Look, you're gonna get changed back to a human, and you're gonna like it. Okay, no, don't go, don't get at me. Don't get at no, no. Whoa, oh, dodged you. Ha! Let me just go check on the chance cubes at least. Okay, no. Oh, jeez. Good thing ostriches can't use elevators. Whew. Whew. All right, we got ourselves six chance cubes and Batman. But the chance cubes are the important things right now, because we're gonna crack those up and right now. That's a bad idea. But I always want to open my presents early. Fine, we'll wait till the end of the day to open them. Gosh. Bloop, bloop. Ha, you guys aren't mad at me anymore, because that's how the world works, Haywood. That's how it works. Now, we have an appointment with uh, Professor Lawton. No, no, don't try to run away from this. Just, yeah, that's right, get excited, get excited. Because, get inside this lasso. So. For those of you who don't know, I crafted this magnificent golden lasso so I could transport an ostrich outside of my hidden lair and therefore be able to bring him to professors that may have answers. Now, what am I going to need when I go out there? Let's see. Some some fence posts in case we need to set him up with a cage. Maybe a lead so we can like, tie him to said fence posts. And, oh, jeez. Why is my EMC so low? Wow. Oh. This stuff I've been fueling all the quarries with is uh, pretty expensive. Wow. That is no return value whatsoever. That is that is not profitable. Okay. Uh, we'll need to find some other way to gain some EMC. Because that is, that is reverse EMC. That is not smart. But it's fine. It's fine. We didn't do it for the EMC. We did it for the lightning stone. So we got the lead and some, some seeds. In case he needs to eat. That makes sense. Nah, he doesn't eat seeds. We, we got some baked beans. That's fine. Oh, no, and I still have all these wheels of cheese from date night. Ah, I should definitely uh, put these back. I, I think the date went kind of well. Like, moderately well. But did I forget to... Yep, oh, well. No one uses the bathroom these days anyway. Moderately well, but, you know, there's just nothing in the future. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. So... Making sure I'm just going to the kitchen to uh, check on some orders. Yep, no big deal. Chef, it didn't work. Your ideas were bad. I'm gonna put these cheese wheels back though. Cheese wheels. Oh wait, cheese goes in the fridge. Okay. Uh, no, those are baked beans. No, those are coffees. No, those are tacos. Where's the cheese go? What do you keep cheese in the freezer? I'm pretty sure that's not how you keep cheese. There's the meat. Yes, cheese. All right. Uh, oh, and more fence posts. Excellent. And I should probably take the fermented. Nah, it's kind of funny, actually. And I'll leave a golden apple in there. Perfect. I hope I don't need 64 golden apples. Because I'm bringing 63. Alright, Haywood. We're almost there. Now, won't you drive my sleigh tonight? You actually look pretty glorious there, Haywood. Onward! To the school! Go with your little ostrich legs. I have an ostrich in the school. Oh, that didn't work. That almost worked so perfectly. Wait, have I passed the offices? No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, just gonna... No, no, no. Haywood, hey, Haywood, hey, get back here. Get back here, Haywood. Hey, uh, you, you just exposed us. You, we had it all planned out. Hey, just come this way. Come this way. Oh, hey, Professor Lawton. I, uh, I brought the ostrich we were talking about. This is, uh, 
This is an ostrich, just a regular old ostrich that was a human before, and, well, was a zombie before that, and a human before that. And his name is Haywood, because that was his name when he was a human. And, yeah, he is, I mean, as far as I can tell, a healthy ostrich. But, yeah, it's not a normal name, but, you know, Professor, that's a weird first name as well, so. It's fine, I mean, everyone has weird first names. You know, well, some people do, and it's just names, you know, you can't really complain about someone's names. <laughs> okay, Professor, sure, gotcha. Um, but yeah, here he is, you said bring him in and we can get him all changed back to human. Now, I'm not gonna lie, he's not too excited about the whole process. Hey, hey Wood, you gotta, you gotta stay with us here, you gotta stay with us. Because, you know, he's, I think he's fallen in love with the, with the lady ostrich. Which, you know, when they're both ostriches isn't weird, but... It's a little weird because, you know, they're, well, this one was a human. So, yeah, love. The two are inseparable. And totally not just because I keep them in the same room at all times. So, he's a little nervous about changing back to human because what will that do to his love life? And honestly, you know, I don't want to get into that. But, huh. Wait, are you, why are you telling him that love isn't real? That's, that's not true. Love is as real as you need it to be. Oh, oh, love isn't real. What? Is Santa not real too, huh? Is that what's next? <laughs> what about dinosaurs? Are they not real, huh? Jeez. Look, I, it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll just ignore that. Dinos are... There we go. Wait, but what about Santa? Never mind, never mind. Look, if dinosaurs are real, love is real. Either way, it's real to him, okay? It's real to him. I mean, it's, it, it's messing with him, but either way, we need to cure him. He needs to become a human again, because only humans are capable of those complex emotions. Ostriches, I think, I don't even think it's love. I don't believe that he loves this ostrich. I think it's just like, you know, whatever mating gland they have is, you know, on the fritz or whatnot. Wait, 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 what, a sample? Uh, that's a really large needle. Hey, hey. Why do you need to use such a large needle? He's just a he's just a little ostrich. It's it's very big, pointy. You know, it's barely even pointy. That sound that looks very painful. Well, he's taller than you, and he probably weighs. Well, as you know, it might not weigh more than you, because birds have a very uh, you know, porous bone structure, so they don't weigh too much. That's how genetically birds have been able to fly. Now, ostriches, of course, can't fly necessarily, but I assume their bone structure. Oh, okay, so I assumed wrong. Uh, okay, Haywood, hey, just hold still. Hold still. He's, he's getting some samples. Haywood, uh, hey, don't focus on him. Focus on... Um, I don't think that's how you... Uh, I guess that's one way to get a blood sample. Uh, uh, I, I'm just going to look over here. I'm just going to look over here. Everything is fine back there. Everything is perfectly fine. Are you done? Oh, thank goodness. All right. Uh, now what do you need to do? Do you need to like cast some voodoo on him? Uh, here, I brought gold apples I brought more more of these I brought uh, some coffee just in case we got I got golden apples now do we feed these to him here you go buddy here you go eat the apples <sighs> great then what will work I got I got a leak I think he's just a little hungry right now but I I honestly, I honestly don't know what he eats I, I think he just eats out of my fridge normally because he's a human and all that but I I don't know um, so I, I, I don't know what we need. I have, I have pure fire in form of bla blaze. I have some, uh, I have, wait. Oh, baked beans. He loves, loves baked beans. Hey, what? Hey, what? Get back here. You can't go running away like that, Haywood. <sighs> These people are trying to help. I'm trying to help you. Professor Lawton's trying to help you. You got, you're gonna be a human again. Look, the only reason you're able to think about like escaping and stuff like this is because you have a human brain, Haywood. Here, let's just go back. Let's just go back. Okay, there we go. So what's this process gonna consist of? Because, you know, he's getting a little antsy. I think I need to get this going soon. You know, I. Oh, okay. Well, well, how long is this gonna take? Because. You know, it's, it's a process, but it, it just, it's, 
just don't want to don't want to leave him here because I mean he's an ostrich but you know the person part of him was my acquaintance so yeah yeah ostrich magic is very strong okay um well here I I, I brought some fences so you, you can take these and you know get them all so solidified um, here's his favorite baked beans and uh, here, here's some more fences uh, you can borrow my special no I can't let you borrow my special lasso that's fine yeah see there you go oh you just gotta tie him up to now he's probably gonna pop it if you just tie him up to that so you might need to do like a little reinforcement around the door I'm just, I'm just gonna say goodbye to him Haywood hey, Haywood you gotta stay hey Haywood hey Haywood Stop! Turn around right now! Haywood, stop running around the fountain! No, no, don't go up those stairs, Haywood! Don't go up those stairs! Haywood, there's... There! It's a big empty room! There's nowhere else for you to run, Haywood! Nowhere else for you to run! No, don't jump out that window, Jay Haywood! <sighs> you see? You, you can't break through windows that easily, Haywood! Now, come on. Let's go back there. Now, listen to me, Haywood! Okay, there you go. You're listening. Good boy, Haywood. Good boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop it, Haywood. You, you were just listening to me a second ago. Haywood. Haywood, you good? No, don't you. No, turn, turn. We're going back up. No, nope, we're going this way. We're going this way. And, okay, fine. T just tie him up. T Haywood, no. No, Haywood. No, just stay. Stay. You're going to have to hang out with Professor Lawton for a few days. He needs to make you better. Have all the golden apples you need. Just, I don't know. I don't know, Haywood. This is, we're going to fix this whether you like it or not. Okay? <sighs> Just do what you can, Professor. Do you need anything else from me? Because I can make it happen. You know, whatever you need to, to make him a person again. Because he's... I, it's just weird. It's just weird, okay? It's just weird. I'm confused by this entire situation, but it's science. It's an experiment. Okay. Okay, well. I'll, I guess I'll see you later, Professor. See you later, Haywood. Get better. And by better, I mean human. I'm saying ostrich isn't better. You're sick, Haywood. Oh, jeez, that's a big needle. I can't look. Oh, man. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Uh, why did I give Haywood over to that man? It's fine. He's he's a professor at a school. He's not gonna do anything weird He's a completely normal guy Put in a completely normal situation like I'm sure ostriches have been turned to humans before he can't be the first one to run into this situation, right? Right? Oh boy Oh boy, how am I gonna tell his lover? Oh, this isn't going to be easy. Mrs. Haywood, what did I tell you about standing on my stuff? You can't just go standing on all my stuff. Oh, what? Is this a protest? You won't get off of my, my expensive thing? You're standing on very explosive things. There's ammo and, and C4 and guns in there. Like, just, just, just look at what you're standing on. That is not safe. That is not safe. Get down from there. Thank you. No, no you can't just go standing on the other stuff now. Look, I'm sorry. Hey. You know what? I should just be honest with you. Mrs. Haywood, I should just be be honest with you. I'm sorry, but Haywood has moved on. Yeah, I know you might not believe it, but Haywood is seeing another ostrich. The second I took him out of this cage, just, I saw his eyes, just like googly eye looking everywhere. He was looking at a human females, he was looking at ostrich females. I'm pretty sure he even looked at a swan. I'm pretty sure he did. So, I don't know if this was just some sort of Stockholm Syndrome situation, if you were just like the only female available in here, but he doesn't love you. He doesn't. I, I know you like him, but it was just a... It was just a fling. He doesn't love you back. You're bringing him down. You're dragging him down with you. Even though you're in a, you know, physically higher place than me right now. You're dragging him down. No, don't get sad. 
Is, are those ostrich tears? I don't know if ostriches cry. But don't get sad. He, I'm sure there's plenty of other ostriches in the sea. Well, I hope there's actually no ostriches in the sea because they can't swim very well. But I, there's plenty of other ostriches in the savanna. Look, there's there's other there's other birds out there for you. You just, just Haywood doesn't love you. He told me himself. He he explained it fully to me, and you know he ran away with that other ostrich lady, and he's not coming back. He's never coming back. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Go ahead, leave. No, leave. The door is right there. I know you grew up here and you don't really know any other place, but... That's it. You know, I'm gonna help you leave, alright? I'm gonna help you leave. You don't belong here. I only let you stay here because Haywood liked you, but now that he doesn't like you anymore... Huh. We're gonna get you out of here. Yeah. That's what it's gonna be like. That's what it's gonna be like. Where's my secret door? There it is! Okay. You want- You want to make this complicated? We'll make this real complicated! I'm not gonna have some other ostrich slowing my friend down. He's not an ostrich, he's a human. Ostriches can't love humans, and humans can't love ostriches. That's how romance works. Uh, now, we're just gonna go back here and release you in the cold snow and rain. Bang, now get out of here, scram. No one loves you. That's right, be free. Just go to some, go be someone else's problem. Uh, I should totally just eliminate the issue. Right now. Up. Oh. Can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, man. He would better not. Oh, am I making a mistake? Is this the right thing to do? <sighs> he would does love her. <sighs> Wait, hold on us. <sighs> Mrs. Haywood. Mrs. Haywood, I'm sorry. I... Mrs. Haywood? Ostrich lady? Hello? Where'd you go? Mrs. Haywood? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, you gotta be here somewhere. I was only totally turned around for like 15 seconds. What? No, 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 no. Huh? Made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, man. What, what, what if Haywood finds her? What if Haywood dies and she gets away not knowing? Man. Why is love so complicated? Why? <sighs> Mrs. Haywood, are you hiding in here? Mrs. Hay... What's this? The taco recipe. This is the missing recipe. This is the recipe El Pablo Man couldn't find. But what's it doing back here? Who's been trying to smuggle taco recipes? <sighs> There's only one man I think who it could be. <sighs> Alright. Easy. Easy. This is an easy situation to figure out. Ladies and gentlemen, rest assured, the taco recipe has been discovered. Now, you. Do you know where the other chef Corey is? I think he was the one who misplaced the recipe and took it and tried to smuggle it away. Where is he? Where? One. Nah, forget it. I could go get the Batman costume, but this is fine. Where is he? Where? Darn it, you can't talk. <sighs> Well, we better just put this back in the safe. There you go. With the other recipes. The chili recipe. The extreme chili. Ooh, I don't even want to see what's in that extreme chili recipe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. It's fine. Mrs. Haywood, are you back here now? Mrs. Haywood? It's... I need to tell you something about Haywood. Lady Ostrich. Ostrich Beyonce, where are you? Well, I guess she's a single lady now. A single ostrich. You know, maybe that was a bad reference. I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, voices, voices in my head give me all the, 
suggestions on uh, Lady Ostrich names in case we ever see her again. Because that was not it. That was not it. Anyway, on to the chance cubes. Wait, I forgot my hang glider. There's water. Look at that. Thank you, viewers. You've given me a nice chance cube tree slash stack of chance cubes. Now, how do I get to the top of it? I know. Boom. That's what we needed. So, let's break open the chance cube. Marlin! We haven't found Nemo, but we found Marlin. And now, it's gift wrap. See, we just unwrapped part of the present. And bang, another chance cube. A big stick. Thanks, Santa. I don't care if Professor Lawton thinks you're fake. I know you're real. Oh, boy. That wasn't much of a present. That was a trick. That wasn't a treat. All right, fine. You want to play like that, little guy? You want to play like that? I'll play. Say hello to my golden gun. That wasn't loaded. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Man, it's like apocalypse now. Oh, wait, people haven't seen that. Let's do a more recent reference. Oh, man, this is like Jumanji. Wait, the new one? Or that actually has nothing to do with this. Uh, ah! Yeah, I hit him once. More ammo. Come on, come right through that gap. You better come through that gap. You come through the baby gap, because you're all babies up. Oh, jeez. Huh. You want some? Are you dead? I think he's been dealt with. I don't think he's been dealt with. And just give me a nice little opening here. Just a nice little opening. All right, just be stuck there, and I'll just fire away. Darn it, that didn't hit. You're really hard to hit. Uh-oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, 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 chicken swords! Chicken swords! Chicken swords! Chicken swords, chicken swords, chicken all the way. Oh, much fun it is to slash with a chicken sword today. Yay. Got it. Now, how do we... I guess we don't need to get back to the top. I, I unwrap my presents bottom first. There we go. And like that. Saplings, great. And this one's gonna be just fine. Thank you for leaving all the licks on the video, Santa. Santa does like my videos, right? You better tell Santa to like the videos, or you get no presents.